Hello everyone, Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies. Um, we've just had a um, parcel that's returning some items. The customer says for some reason they're not working and so I thought it would be a nice idea if we could take a look and see if we can work out what is going on. Um, for obvious reasons I'll cover the rest of um, and see. And the package is well sealed. Um, got the leaflet uh, and uh, these parts here. So we've got the uh, part for the uh, Patriot airbrush. Uh, we've got two needles. Um, two tips and a cap. Um, now I'm told these are not working or not working as they should do. So um, we will take these parts out of the bags. Uh, this needle is open. And it is the detail kit, which is the uh, 0.5. Um, the customer bought these brand new and said they wouldn't work. So whenever you put in parts into an airbrush, always remove the needle first so that it doesn't get damaged and these are the same parts that the customers purchased that uh, are not working for some reason so I'll just swap these into our airbrush be an no idea Put the head on first. Make sure the trigger is sitting correctly before you push the needle through. And I shall just put some uh, badgers cleaner into the airbrush. Connect our hose. And as you can see, it is working absolutely fine. Uh, one of life's little mysteries. But I hope you can see that on camera. It is working perfectly fine. Um, a thought that's just crossed my mind is the customer mentioned they've got a extreme 105 so I'll take their parts back out of here I'll 
keep their parts over here. Um, so I will grab my extreme airbrush which has got some plain up in it. So as I say remove the needle first then the spray regulator the head and the tip uh, fit the new parts Make sure the trigger's sitting correct and just let the uh, needle come to the front, lock it into place, which is one of the beauties of the uh, Badger airbrush. You can just take your needle out to wipe it down or work on the airbrush. And again, I'm just using a bit of the Badger cleaner just to see how things are going. And apart from the pressure being too high, it is working absolutely fine. I'm baffled. I think with this one I need to speak to the customer again to see exactly what is going on. So I'll end this video here and if need be restart it and uh, once I've had a word with the customer. Having spoken to the customer who sent these parts back saying they weren't working I suggested that they send the airbrush back um, because I just cannot work out why the parts work in our airbrushes but not their airbrush. Um, further discussions with the uh, owner. Uh, I have a suspicion that maybe the needle bearing has um, come out of the airbrush and disappeared or it is um, not working as it should be. So we will open the um, box up and uh, take a look to see if we can uh, work out what has gone wrong. And the box is uh, rather obviously a bit of a machine to see. These are all the equipment in the next few This is the original kit that the airbrush would have had, which is a 0.3 kit. Um, for some reason, the screw here is well undone. Um, I'm just going to take the airbrush apart so we can take a look to see if the needle bearing or should I say to see if we can see if the needle bearing is there. Uh, 
and it does look like the needle bearing is there. Albeit, if I put this into the airbrush just until it stops, it is stopping there, which is what I'm assuming is the beginning of the uh, needle bearing and the needle bearing is way back here and it should be further towards the front here so the needle bearing should sit just behind the colour cup uh, in this sort of area and with this one it's way back here um, I do believe I can see it there but it also feels I'm hoping that it is noticeable on the camera that the needle bearing is well splayed and it is pushed well back um, and uh, the only word I can describe is that the needle bearing is wrinkled and it shouldn't be. I'm hoping that can be seen on camera so I'm assuming that is the problem at some point something has pushed the needle bearing way back here and folded the needle bearing up. Um, as I say that is what I'm assuming is the problem. So now I'll fit a new needle bearing and because I wasn't sure whether it was the newer type which is the screwing type or the old type it's as we've already seen it is the older type so I will fit a new one into the airbrush and now the needle bearing which is I fitted onto the needle bearing rod um, should fit just about there which is just past where the uh, needle comes into the colour cup area and you can actually see there that is the needle bearing so it needs to go something like a centimetre further into the airbrush and I want it to go just past where the uh, colour cup is which is now just about here I will then have to ream it out a little bit because we've had to push it in and uh, it's a new needle bearing so a little ream out and then before I put the airbrush back together I shall use the needle and just very very carefully pass it through the airbrush and make sure there is a little resistance as it goes through the needle bearing but it does still slide nice and easily and uh, the little bits of reaming have come off onto the needle and just double check again so as I get to the needle bearing I can feel a little resistance but that is it and that will hold the needle in place um, and so now we'll just fit all the parts back onto the airbrush
and uh, I will fit the new parts that the customer sent in saying they're not working which is the 0.5 setup that uh, they want to use in their extreme airbrush and as always everything is just finger tight place the trigger into the airbrush the only difference with fitting the uh, 0.5 kit into the airbrush is the spray regulator which is off the standard 105 is chrome coloured or silver coloured and the um, extreme is a anthracite colour and ag again we just we don't force the needle forward it's just till it stops with no effort um, and uh, probably just put a bit more tension onto it because it is a new needle bearing and it hasn't been lubricated up yet um, so we will now fit the airbrush onto a hose to try and we'll just use a little bit of cleaner in the airbrush to see if it's going to work with the original with the kit and it's working absolutely fine uh, I'll just put a little drop more into the airbrush <coughs> just to check it is working and it is working fine so now I will put the uh, 0.3 kit back in to make sure that's all working fine Make sure the needle, uh, the uh, trigger is sitting correctly. Place the needle through and just wait till it stops. No effort, no pressure. Check it is working. And again, it probably could do with a bit more tension onto the uh, trigger because as I say it is a new, new needle bearing and it's not been lubricated up at all connect the hose bit of clean up and that is working absolutely fine so as was suspected the needle bearing was the issue it has been damaged and uh, 
a new one fitted so now I will lubricate this airbrush up um, we do have videos of lubricating this airbrush I'll leave a link in the description below to that and um, I'll get this airbrush lubricated and back to the customer thank you for watching our videos I do hope you do find them helpful and informative if you do please give it a thumbs up and a like it does help the channel grow and other people that can then find the videos and it may help them Thank you.